presentation is brought to you by Worldwide Sim Racing. Three lights, four lights, five lights, and in the United States, it's go! And it's Ghost who got a fantastic start off the line and has jumped Alp in the turn number one and takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Alp is trying to go around the outside. Nicklaus is trying to take the inside line. He's currently third on the grid, slots behind Alp, but getting good runs, coming through the S's now, losing it a little bit with dirty air, and now it's Diego behind him. And the two drivers who clash in Australia, Mike Which line will he take? He's going to take the inside line and he's going to try to send it on Nicklaus. Nicklaus trying to defend well, moves him, gives him room. Now it's Diego who gets ahead of Nicklaus. Nicklaus will try to take a counter offensive. He might try to go on the inside here. No, he actually takes the outside line, maybe looking for a switch back. McChicken is diving around the outside of Nicklaus. Nicklaus has the inside line, still stays ahead of the Haas driver. Jonathan Cox takes a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Both Haas drivers. Sense. But here we go on LR Ghost. A big run on him. He's going to take the outside line. LR Ghost will look to defend as much as possible. Alp on Ghost. Taking a long, long, wide line on the outside. Trying to go on the inside. 
Ghost keeping the outside line still. And oh, the spin! A spin by Alp at the end of the race. And it's going to be down the third. Flip Flop Fish might take him. He'll, yes, he will. He'll take third position. And that was a major spin by Alp. He was in the second position. And now Diego's up to second. And Ghost is still in first. Coming across the line, it is LR Ghost who takes the Grand Prix victory, but it's Flip Flop Fish who wins the WSR Formula World Championship, and he'll get on the podium in style to do it. Flip Flop Fish is your championship winner in WSR for season two. It's been a masterful performance all season. He gets on the podium in style. Nick also finished in fourth ahead of C. Breeze, who finishes in fifth. One light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights, and in Shanghai, it is go! And Jonathan Cox leads in the turn number one. Deathwish Tricky got a fantastic start, puts it up to third. Burn it down, stays in second, but he's under pressure from Deathwish Tricky, who trying to, tries to hang it around the outside. Nicklaus is now trying to get it in with Diego. These two drivers are next to each other again. And look at this, Diego with major slipstream for the lead of the race. He gets the lead of the race. McChicken looking to get ahead of the Ferrari of Caruto and they're side by side, wheel to wheel through turn number one, coming to turn number two. Now takes the inside lane. What a side by side battle for seventh. And it's looking good right now for McChicken. All but Caruto does get ahead of him. Bad scenes here. Jonathan Cox is struggling. The Ferrari now. Are they going to go three wide? No, McChicken has the bad uh, the, the bad lane there. And Caruto will go on the inside. Now the teammate of McChicken, Jonathan Cox, has a tank slapper. And he's down to eighth. What a final turn. And he will win the Chinese Grand Prix in spectacular fashion. A time as there he goes moves on to that top step. The lights are out and away we go. And Nicklaus gets a good start, unchallenging the turn one. Flip Flop Fish has to contend with Jonathan Cox, who drops down the third after initially possibly getting in the... into the chicane, bumps him, and pulls side by side, coming out of the chicane. I think Nicklaus has the move, just slots ahead of Caruto. Racer's got front wing damage, and I gotta be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, that is frustration if I ever saw it. Finally, Racer makes the overtake, but Diego really, really messed it up in turn number one, and now Racer's got front wing damage. Flop Fish is gonna make an outside dive around him, and he is gonna make the move, but Nicklaus is going to win the Monaco Grand Prix. It's his third race win in a row. Sorry, third race win on WSR, but it is a win here in Monaco. 
Miklos wins it. Final race, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's the final race here in WSR season two and lights are out and away we go. And it's Benrique leading them away. And it's Diego going on the inside to turn one. But it's Benrique, he will keep the lead of the race. But then there's a hot of Jonathan Cox trying to get up in there. There's a spin and it's Nicklaus spins round. And he is way down the grid. And there's a five second penalty for Jonathan Cox. Big penalties and it's a safety car deployed on the first lap. And it is Nicklaus who has been spun round at the beginning of the race and Bam Bam's out and oh, there's big contact in the back here. A bunch of drivers slowing up and there is a lot of carnage on the first lap, but it is Nick Gloss right now as he's a little bit further back than he would have liked to have been. Seafreeze in a much better attack position here as Seafreeze is gonna dive around the outside. Is he gonna make the move? No, he goes a little bit too deep. That would have been a fantastic move on the track there. And they're side by side now. Looks like the Reno might be making another pit stop here. And no, to Pastor though, just cutting the track as much as he can. And Flip Flop Fish is battling with Bernard down right now, side by side of him. And it's Flip Flop Fish who gets the six now on the grid. A little bit of an iffy move there by Nicholas, though he was well off track trying to make that move. He's now side by side of the Haas of Jonathan Cox who goes on the inside of him. Now going off track a little bit. And now he makes contact and now he, he comes across Jonathan Cox. Jonathan Cox is out of the session and that's another safety car. He made contact with Jonathan Cox. I don't know if he came across him a little bit too much, but up to seven, Miller goes. And look at this, side by side. Burn it down, had to spin. And he's out in a huge crash with the McLaren, a ghost. And a virtual safety car has now been deployed and he had contact with Racer and then LR Ghost, unfortunately an innocent bystander in that one and we have two cars out and now is going to win the Brazilian Grand Prix. He is your winner again in WSR. A fantastic win for him. 